Hi, Mabuhay, and good day. Welcome to our breakout session, where we can learn and expand our knowledge in understanding public image and showcasing best practices. Our learning objectives for this session are understanding brand and public image, rotary branding tips and guidelines, such as brand voice, visual identity, and for you now, and people of action campaign. So when asked, why should we be concerned about brand? Well, if we speak, write, and design in one voice, our communications will sound, read, and look unmistakably rotary or rotary. This will give our audiences a better understanding of who we are. Our voice sets our personality. We want Rotary to stand out from other organizations and appeal to all of our audiences with compelling, consistent messages. Our voice, the unique tone and style in which we communicate, focuses on four attributes that describes Rotary in our members. Persevering, inspiring, compassionate, and smart. These attributes set the tone for how we talk about Rotary. Think of them as Rotary's personality. When we talk about the Rotary brand, we're talking about the basic qualities and goals that unite all Rotary clubs and districts. It's what we offer to people who partner with us, join a club, or participate in our programs and projects. Our brand reflects our identity, our vision, and our essence as well as our values. It represents our unique culture and approach to creating lasting positive change. People's perception of Rotary comes from their experiences with our clubs and programs, along with the stories we tell and the images we share. Compelling, consistent brand communications together with a great experience can strengthen our brand and help us engage and attract more members donors, and partners. For the voice and visual identity guidelines, our logos are part of our brand and represent every one of us that take action to make lasting positive change in the world. When people see our logos, they should immediately recognize them as rotaries and as symbols of an organization that is taking action to make the world a better place. There are two forms of the master brand signature. We have the regular one, as you can see on your left, and the second one, which is a simplified form on your right, which we can use it in embroidered form, as, and also if the logo is smaller than 1.25 or 0 0.5 inches. Next is the clear space. It's the space surrounding the master brand signature that needs to remain empty it is equal to the height of the capital R in the rotor word bar. The colors that are allowed to be used are black, cranberry, and white. For designing the logo of your club, we should not mix geographical identifier types. A logo is either a club, a district, or a zone logo. So as you can see on your left side, you have the preferred design of your club name. And on the right side, you can use the, you, you can use this design for long club names. As you can see, on the first is a one-liner club name. Second would be the two-liner club name. And lastly, is three-liner club name. In making the lack of format, you will only use the master brand signature and a partner or a program logo. As you can see in this slide, we have a divider rule of 0.5.50% black and height equal to the logo. And the space between two logos is the letter O of the word Rotaract or Rotary. To test your learning in the previous slides, kindly comment your answers on the chat box. And the question goes like this. What is the color of the divider line in the lock-up format? A, 50% black, B, black, or C, 50% gray. 
the next part is all about incorrect usages of the logo. As you can see in this slide, there are different types of incorrect usages of the logo. Example, when you use the logo on a background that has high contrast, apply a holding space in the master brand, replace the rotor accord mark with a font, and applying outlines of special effects or other graphic elements in the logo. In addition to that, you cannot also distort the logos. You cannot change the thickness and color of the divider line. And lastly, using other colors for Roderick logo aside from cranberry, black, and white or reversed. With regards to the previous slides, the question would be, what is the color of Roderick? A, cherry, B, cranberry, or C, raspberry. You can input now your answers on the chat box. In addition to the previous question, the blank is the space surrounding the master brand signature. It is equal to the height of the blank in the rotor upward mark. A, blank space, capital letter T. B, clear space, capital letter T. C, clear space, capital letter R. Or D, blank space, capital letter R. Just input now your answers on the chat box. This question is all about the logo. All are accepted standalone identifiers in a logo except A, club, B, district, C, country, or D, zone. Now we talk about the N Polyo Now logo. The N Polyo Now logo builds identity to Rotor's legacy program of eradicating polio in the world forever. The N Polyo Now logo has two different logos. The first one would be the primary logo that can stand alone and can't be changed to a simplified version regarding the mark of excellence. Secondary logo can be used for a lockup format. The N Polio Now logo also has a clear space, same with the master brand signature. The clear space is a space surrounding the logo should be equal to the height of the letter P in the polio. And the color that you can use is black and there is no white or reverse of the N Polio Now logo. As you can see in this slide, these are some of the incorrect usages of the N Polio Now logo. The primary logo is in a lock-up format, combining black with a colored N Polio Now logo. The N Polio Now logo with simplified logo, changing of colors, replacing the word polio to another disease, covering or distorting the logo, and the N Polio logo with theme, with club, or district, or zone. Let me test you with this question. The following N Polio Now logo renditions are incorrect except A. Primary logo is on a lock of format. B. Distorted logo. C. Master brand logo is black and the secondary logo is colored. Or C. Changing the logo into black. Now we will tackle about the People of Action campaign. By presenting Rotarians and Rotor actors as people of action, we bring Rotor's vision to life in a relevant and tangible way. When we speak with the same voice, we raise awareness and understanding of Rotary. Rotary members are the messengers of this campaign. As ambassadors of our brand, clubs are empowered to share the simple but captivating message that Rotary and Rotary members are taking action to create positive change. In creating the People of Action campaign ad, there are three steps in doing it. Number one, select an action verb for your headline. The eight predetermined action verbs have been cleared for legal purposes. To avoid legal issues, we highly recommend against creating and using other action verbs. The verbs that are used are as follows. Connect, transform, inspire, and polio, 
save lives, promote peace, mentor, learn, fight hunger, and empower. Second is to choose an image or take a photo. The photos should show roller actors as people of action, specifically authentic moments of roller actors actively engaged in our work, our relationships, and our community. Avoid grip and green photos. Remember that the headline is Together We, a shot of an individual where will only rarely be appropriate. Make sure you present the diversity of your club on the people you are serving in age, ethnicity, and gender. Only two to five people are in the photo. Ask yourself, will people in my community connect with what they see in the photo? And lastly, you want to use powerful images that capture your viewers' attention and make them feel an emotion. Lastly, develop a compelling caption. The caption is where you will tell the story portrayed with the photo and shall briefly expound on these three elements. Your claim, what did you do that was meaningful for your community? Your proof, how did you go about accomplishing your project? And your call to action, what do you want your viewers to do when they see your ad? Here are the samples of a People of Action campaign ad produced by some of the clubs in the Philippines. Here is a question about the People of Action campaign. The following are verbs used for the People of Action campaign except A, learn, B, connect, C, promote, or D, transform. You can now input your answers on the chat box below. What we did to improve RORAC branding and public image in the Philippines through the efforts of FDIO. Firstly, we conducted trainings, public image training per district, national brand guidelines training, and Filipinas RORAC Online University, which also tackles branding. We also made infographics, brand and visual identity guidelines, face mask guidelines, areas of focus, and polio logo guidelines. Next, we also engage clubs for brand campaigns, such as the People of Action campaign. And lastly, created good communications. We had public image champions group chat. We have Google Drive essentials for the public image and monitoring observance of brand guidelines. On the next slides, you can see the best practices of the Filipinas Rotaract MDAO. Before the session will end, let me leave you with this statement. It's the experience created and told consistently and effectively over time, which builds the value of the Rotary and Rotaract brand. We, the Rotaractors, are the living brand. Therefore, we are walking billboards. This is Jen Vianney Dagandan, the Public Image Associate of the Philippines Rotaract FDIO, and from the Rotaract Club Cebu Fuente, Rotary International District 3860. You may contact me in my personal email and Instagram. You may also like the Filipinas Rotaract MDAO Facebook page and also subscribe the Rotaract Filipinas MDAO YouTube channel. And lastly, follow us also in the TikTok channel of the Rotaract Filipinas MDAO. Thank you, JN. This is Shivi Rosolado. Learning and Development Associate of the Filipinas MDAO from Rotary Club of Cebu Fuente, Rotary International District 360. And don't forget to follow us in our Filipinas MDAO Twitter and Instagram and be inspired by what we did in our MDAO. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Bye!